There's a fish. Thank God for the bungee cord, bro. Oh no, it's not a ray. We got a snapper, we got a mun, bro. We got a mun. Big mun, bro, big mun. Yo! Oh my God. Yeah. Can I get half a dozen of those? Sure. Value? Yeah. Yeah. How's it going? Alright, bait secured. So that's a nice big stock pile right there. Went to a couple different tackle shops just trying to trying to get the best quality. So we picked up a half dozen value here. Just picked up a dozen value at the other spot down the road and five dozen shrimp so we're all baited up i wanted to get out there at sunrise to the bridge but this should be good enough we're gonna send it up north now and uh yeah hopefully enjoy a good day of fishing so now that we're all baited up guys i'll catch you over there at the bridge So folks, today's target is meat. As you just saw by the amount of bait we just bought and spent money on. Today, we're not going for small fish. We're going for big, big snapper, big grouper, keeper sized fish. So a bit later start than I wanted. It's around 8.30 now. I wanted to get out here about an hour ago at sunrise, but as you can see, it is pretty cloudy out. So that should work to our advantage. The clouds should keep the, uh, the sunrise bite on for at least a little bit more. So I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm gonna get all the rods rigged and ready everything in the bridge cart right there and then send it out up to the bridge so stay tuned i'll catch you guys out on the bridge should be a good day of fishing Yoo! so guys made it out here to the bridge current's flowing pretty good i got a decent spot out here so first things first gonna throw the chum bag over throw the shrimp over keep them alive and then we'll get to fishing maybe bounce around some of these pilings see what else we can pull up So guys, while we rig up the other rods, we're gonna start with throwing off this little chunk of ballyhoo. Just picked these up this morning, as you guys saw. This is on a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader, right to a barrel swivel. Then we've got a three ounce egg sinker right above that. And we actually put on a wind on leader this time, a 30 pound fluorocarbon. Should make it a little bit harder for the fish to see the line. And it should give us some added abrasion resistance. So we're gonna throw it out on our spin fisher setup right here. One of my heavier setups I brought out to the bridge. While we rig up the other rods, we're gonna let this guy soak. So let's get out there, make a cast. All right, let's go, buddy. Not gonna cast out too far. All right. Actually getting hit already. And I'll put the bungee on there for safety, so. There we are getting some little taps right now. Hopefully something big comes by and wallops that thing. On, on. Got him. Got him. Don't know what we got. Good fish. Good snapper. Come on. Come on in, bud. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Right, let's go. That's a good snapper, whatever it is. Whatever species it is. Good fish. Good fish, bro. Yeah, buddy. A little mutton. Woo! There we go, dude. That's what I like to see. Let's get it, baby. Yeah, buddy. There we go, guys. It's target species right there. Little mud snapper. Not a keeper, but send him back. Awesome. So that's a target species right there. Mud snapper. They get a lot bigger than that. That guy I wasn't even gonna measure him. It was probably only 14 inches or so, but that's what we're looking for. Hopefully there's some bigger ones down there. 
let's get on them. Phew. So guys, on this setup here, we're going a little bit a little bit heavier. We've got a pinfish chunk, still a 3.0 hook, 30 pound fluoro liter. We've got a heavy 4,500 pen slammer here on my new extra heavy Tsunami Slow Pitch Rod. I just picked up from Riptide Bait and Tackle back in Jersey uh, before I came down here. So this guy should be able to put a beating on some big fish. That's why I went with the pinfish chunk. This will be our third rod out. Then we're gonna throw out our shrimp rod, make a couple pitches around pilings, whatnot, see what we can pull up. So stay tuned. Fishing should be picking up right now, now that I can really devote time and spend a lot of time rigging up. I should have done it yesterday, but hey, better late than never. Oh. That's a fish right there, buddy. It's a fish right there, bro. Oh, oh shit, oh shit. We're on, got him, got him. On the pinfish. What is that, dude? No, oh my God. Thought I had a toad, dude. Friggin' puffer, dude. Puffer fish, see ya, bud. Thought I had a mega snapper. <laughs> There's a fish. Thank God for the bungee cord, bro. Oh, that's a shark all day. That's a shark all day. Dang, son. That's a shark, bro. It's not a shark, it's a giant snapper. You know what, we got some good head shakes, bro. This might be a good fish. This might be a keeper fish, dude. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, dude, giant ray. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh no, it's not a ray. We got a snapper, we got a mutton, bro. We got a mutton. Big mutton, bro, big mutton. Big mutton, dude. Big mutton. Yeah, buddy, keeper, that's a keeper, bro. Look at Rob Ben, dude, this is extra heavy. Yo! Oh shoot, Barracuda's on him. Yo! Oh shoot, Mega Cuda, yo. Mega Cuda on him. Gonna have to solo net this, bro. Ain't no help out here, bro. Big mutton. Can you just help me net him real quick? Giant one, dude. Big one. Ah, <laughs> so close. So close. Oh, shoot. Yes. Oh. Yes, dude, thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. That's a giant one. Woo. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> thank you so much, man. Gracias, mucho gracias. Look at that. Oh, dude, oh my God. Oh, dude, all day. That's a 22 inch mutton, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. There we go, baby. That's what we came here for. Mega, mega mutton. 22 inches there on the dot. Did not expect it. You can see, guys, the barracuda got him right there. Absolutely sick, dude. Threw out that pinfish, and this is what ate it, man. Awesome. So I just bled him out. We're going to throw this guy on ice. Woo! Awesome, dude. How about 15, no line? Oh, man. Look at that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Dope, man. You'll get a 22 coming up. <laughs> Guys, I cannot underestimate how crazy that fish catch was right there. Had a, had a pinfish out there just kind of for whatever. I mean, I didn't think I was gonna catch a giant mutton like that. That was so, so sick, dude. At first I thought it was a giant ray because one of those big, big eagle rays came and shot right across the surface of the water as soon as I hooked the mutton. So I thought that's what I had the whole time, but I knew with those head shakes and the fact it didn't snap me off right away, it was a good fish. And that is absolutely psycho, man. Catching a keeper, a 22 inch off the bridge like that is really rare and really, really awesome. So I'm stoked. My day's made, it's 10.30. We're gonna grind it out here for the next couple hours for sure and see what happens. Maybe, maybe we'll catch another one, man, who knows? Stay tuned. Let's get it. They are chewing right now, bro. So guys, well, we're mostly fishing with Ballyhoo today. I did pick up five dozen shrimp from the tackle shop, so we'll give these guys a shot. They've been down there for a while, so they're not doing too well. He gave me five dozen, only wanted four, so they're kind of overcrowded in there and dying a little bit, but we'll see what bites the shrimp. There seems to be a decent chew going on right now, so we'll drop some shrimp down there. There we go, we're on. That's a good fish, bro. Good fish on the shrimp. Good fish. Come on up, bro. Oh man, I thought he was good. <laughs> Another beautiful little mutton right there. They're chewing, baby. You. Oh, Barracuda just whacked him, dude. Oh, that sucks. Wow. There we are, we're on, we're on, we're on. Oh, that's not a little baby fish, yo. That's something good. Get up for the barracuda season. Mutton. Oh shoot, he's wrapped around the chum bag. Mutton, baby, mutton. Another one, dude, another little mutton. There's our fifth mutton of the day. Fourth short, lots of little ones down there. Send them back. See you, dude. There we go, we're on. We're on. That's a fighter, that's a fighter. Come on, get out, bro. There's a cooter down there, there's a cooter down there. I don't want you to get smacked. Oh, yellow jack, bro. No way, dude. No way. Oh my God. Let's go, dude. Dude, I'm catching everything out here. Awesome. By far, the best bridge day I've ever had out here guys we've caught i think a half a dozen mutton snapper we caught a keeper mutton 22 inches a yellow jack i mean dude everything out here man what an epic day let's keep on slaying them baby Woohoo! awesome hey hey awesome 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 dude these guys are awesome to eat great ceviche is what we'll do with him epic day bro now i'm happy i brought the shrimp they're working out pretty well So guys, midday update, it's uh, 12.15 now. As you can see, I'm walking off the bridge, gonna take a little break. I have to get some things out of my car. We do have some weather, looks like it's moving in over there, but really doesn't look too severe. But really just, we have no current right now. So when the current was ripping is when we were getting the most bites, we got half a dozen mutton back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Like really, really, really quick fishing, really good fishing on the muttons. Now the current's dead, not much is going on. Um, I'm probably gonna give it till like four o'clock today. So got four more hours, got plenty, plenty of time for that current to switch the other way. And then we'll be fishing underneath this way, underneath the, the driving bridge. So that's the plan so far for the rest of the day. I'm probably gonna get a little snack, take a little breather. And then uh, once the current starts moving, we'll, we'll get back to fishing. So stay tuned. One of the best days of fishing I've ever had out here on the bridges. <laughs> This guy was pretty eager to get onto the hook. So guys, halftime update here. It's around one o'clock. We're rigging up some shrimp and just gonna be bouncing around these pilings. The current is just starting to switch from going towards the Gulf to coming out towards the ocean side now and should start picking up so that 
we get back in the good feeding window when those mullins are really, really chomping. Got him. Oh, nice yellow tail, dude. That's a bigger one, actually. Wow, check that guy out. That's actually my biggest yellow tail ever from the bridge. Not a keeper, but we're gonna send him back. He might not make it. I don't know, he might've got gill hooked or something, so send him down there. It looks like he made it to the bottom, all right. They're chewing again. There we are, we're on again. We're on. Something better. What is that, dude? Mangrove? Oh, a little grouper, bro. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> That's a uh, a black grouper, I believe. Yeah. All right, man, fish on. <laughs> cool little black grouper there, guys. Catching everything out here, man. Man, this is this is one of the best bridge days I've ever had, by far. Literally one of the best days ever, man. This is it keeps getting better. Gotta love it. We're on again, man. On the shrimp. Another gorgeous fish right there. Beautiful. Putting away for ass. See you, dude. So as you guys can see right here, I set all my stuff up over there and I just brought all the way back. The current never switched to go in that way. It just stopped and continued this way. So it's starting to pick back up the way we found it this morning. So we got on a pretty good chew this morning. So maybe it'll pick back up here in the afternoon. Chum bags deployed. Not seeing too much yet. The current's not ripping fast enough yet, but once it gets going, we should get on some good fishing. There's a fish. Oh. We're on. <laughs> We're on. Don't know what it is. We just wiped out, blew out our flip flop. We're on though. Hopefully it's worth it because I just died. Oh, that's great. Oh, it's a freaking parrotfish, bro. Oh my God. Parrotfish. Yeah, man, I thought, it was, guys, I thought it was a big fish. Got it? Yeah, I got it now, thanks. Damn. Blew out my flip flop. <laughs> Damn. How ah. many inches? Sweet. 18? I don't know. <laughs> 16. Congrats. I ran to get the rod and I slipped and blew out my shoe. Oh, I guess I cut my toe too. Damn, yeah, you nice. got a little bit cut in there. Right it's an there. expensive parrot fish. Yeah, <laughs> we can't even touch him. I think the bite's getting better now. Yeah, it's getting better. I got a mutton, but it was like 13, 14. Yeah, the current's picking up, so it should be good. Yeah. Check that guy out, bro. Big parrot fish. All right, see you, dude. That guy messed me up pretty bad. I was running, I slipped on some water here or something. Blew out my flip flop. The bite just might be picking up now, so stay tuned. All right, my neighbors are, are hooked up. Let's get the net down there for them. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that mother, man. Go ahead, go ahead, go down. I will put it inside there. Okay, I got come on, come on, come on. Go down, go down. There, there we go. go. There you go. We got it, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's a keeper, bro. Looks like it. Looks like it. Good job, dude. Yeah, let me make sure. Not a keeper. It is a keeper. Yeah, 18. There you go. It is a keeper, bro. Nice job, man. Thank you, my man. Oh, okay. 18 inches, sweet. What'd you get him on? Um, it was on a squid, I think. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, hold a squid. Sweet. Yeah. All right, congrats, man. Sweet. Thank nice you, job. Man, I appreciate that. Second keeper mutton of the day. One for me, one for my neighbor over there. Helped him out with a net job, so really, really good day of bridge fishing. We're gonna tend our rods and uh, hopefully get lucky. Get out of here. That was awesome. Good way to wake me up out of this boring afternoon. Oh, shit. oh, shit. oh. Shit. Go ahead. Go, 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 go. 
That's a big fish right there, dude. I think it's a shark. Shark. I think it's a big shark. That's a big fish off the bridge. Yeah, I don't know if it is a shark. I, th I think it would have snapped me off if it was. Yeah, there he is. Oh, it's an, what is that? Oh, it's a friggin' ray. Oh, uh, I don't want that. Big old ray, guys. Not what I want. Oh, shit. Look at that, guys. Monster ray. Did not expect to catch that today off the bridge. Just walk him down here so I can get my leader back at least. I don't really care too much about the hook. Gnarly, all right. There he goes, snapped him off nice and easy. So big old stingray, lost my flip flop in the battle. That guy ate that uh, caught up pinfish. Let's go back up there and try to catch some other stuff. His reaction in the mud, ready? <laughs> 23 inches, man. And a little yellow jack to go with it. Awesome. What an incredible freaking day fishing, guys. This is by far, by far, the best day I've ever had on the bridge. I, I, as you can see, I'm literally still shocked from catching that monster mutton snapper. I mean, catching just one of those throwbacks would have made this an awesome day for me. Yesterday I caught a 17 incher. I wasn't recording, wasn't planning on making a video, but caught a 17 incher and I was stoked out of my mind just to catch a mutton snapper. Today, I think we caught eight. I think we caught eight mutton snapper, including one monster, monster 23 incher, dude. I had no idea what I hooked when that guy took that freaking cut piece of pinfish. Just an absolutely epic day from start to finish. The bite definitely diminished towards the end of the day. I'm going home now, it's pretty much five o'clock, going home to cook up that mutton snapper, but I mean, seriously, dude, just absolutely an epic day. Just to reiterate, we caught eight mutton snapper, a keeper mutton, we caught two yellowtail, one was potentially a keeper, I probably should have measured him. A grouper, plenty of other tropical little fish, a pudding white frass, parrot fish. Saw some giant barracudas, giant tarpon, hooked the monster stingray. Just absolutely epic, epic day out there, guys, on the bridge. I'm going to come back tomorrow. I mean, who who in the right mind would pass up an opportunity to come back and get it all done? As you guys can see, I'm bloodied up. I'm fish gutted up. I am an absolute friggin' mess. My toe's bleeding. I mean, I am a disgrace right now. But doesn't mean I'm not going to come back out here and try to give my best tomorrow. So thanks for tuning in. If you guys could, really would appreciate if you guys smashed the like button on this video. Hit the subscribe button. Really trying to grow. The YouTube channel here, been saying it for a couple months now, and I've, I've been noticing a good, good growth on the channel. So I'm happy that you guys are happy that you guys are enjoying these videos. So I'm gonna continue to grind it out here for you guys, make the best content I can, and catch as many fish as I can. So I'm gonna go back home, cook up this mutton snapper, eat a good dinner, get some sleep, and I'll catch you guys back out here tomorrow. So stay tuned in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. You stay stoked, everyone.